Hello, it's me, Mr. Magic, and I'm going to be going over a build this week. Um, it's going to be an ice shot build by uh, Nami, and he's uh, it's a very interesting build. It converts a lot of your physical damage to ice damage. Um, let's see here. He uses a really good fizz bow and uh, converts a lot of his fizz to ice damage, and he also has curse on hit for extra kiting capabilities. Now here we're playing YP DLD. He's kind of an insane melee character. So I don't know if he's gonna make this round or not. Uh, yeah. I mean like he's got a crazy amount of stun. Um as yeah. Yeah he really got wrecked right there. Um yeah, um, I don't think he was using Blink Arrow enough. I mean, he's getting stun locked, so. Uh, yeah, let's see. Here we go. Whoa, holy crap. Yeah, usually these first uh, couple of rounds, you got a lot of the newbie characters, and you gotta plow yourself through them. Um, let's Round see. One. Christopher. Ooh, I've seen him on the stream before. I think he plays a puncture build. Um, ooh, almost got hit by the traps. Um, Nami's build has a lot of evasion, so he's very good against other ranged builds. He has, uh, I think, Ondars, so you definitely won't see him get hit by much very often. So his build is very, very good against other ranged builds. Um, you can see that. Uh, the combination of temp chains and chill will make your opponent like half as slow as they normally are, which is pretty freaking awesome. I believe he's using Hrim Sorrow gloves, which convert your physical to cold, and he has a corruption um, Red team wins. temp chains on hit. Yep, just as I expected. Okay, double banane. I have no clue who this guy is, so. Uh, Round one. Fight. Let's see how this goes. Uh, looks like he's a caster trapper. Um. Oh no, he's not. He's a man. That evasion's insane. I only got hit like one out of four times there. Uh. Ooh, not sure who that is, but let's see. Round one. Probably a melee with a lot of regen. It might be Hunt's World's character. Yeah, it is melee. Ooh. And this might be bad for Nami. Because uh, this Marauder might have um, RT, which means. Holy crap. Probably might not have RT. Oh, yeah, crap. Now, Nami's using traps here to um, point blank traps, which are actually insanely effective because, uh, first of all, trap gives you a really nice damage mul multiplier, and you can use point blank with it, which gives you a crap ton more damage. So, I think this is going to be another range versus ranged um, setup here. And my bets are on Nami here. Uh, just because he's got Ondars. Ooh. Don't think that was Puncture Trap. Um. Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely Nami's favor here. He can just kite the crap out of him. Um, yeah. That's no contest. Ooh, would you look at that? It's hedgy. So it's going to be Puncture versus Ice Shot. This may be very interesting. I Again, I think it's his, um, in Nami's favor, just because he's got Ondars. Um, we're going to be seeing a lot of uh, ranged PvP uh, builds here. Just because Puncture is so strong, it's got the traps, it's got the range. But um, as you can see, Nami's pretty... he's countered this meta pretty well with the Ondars, so... Ooh. Yeah, those puncture traps, those are gonna hurt like a truck. 
Oh, now it's laying down his own traps. Oh my god, that was close. Now a lot of potions you'll see for Blitz are going to be um, potions of Panicked, which instantly recover life when you're on low life. Um, they're some of the best flasks there are for um, Blitz, and they're also used a lot for Swiss tournaments. Um, ooh. I don't know if he has potions left. Oh god, that was close. That was a really close game. Man, I could have sworn Nami was going to take that. The thing is, he's using... Um, his eye shot only has two arrows, so it kind of makes it annoying to aim. Uh, what you really want is... Um, oh, there we go. Oh, we've got a... Explosive, explosive arrow build. Holy son of a gun, that was insane. Uh, that Templar might have been using RT, so that would have been really good against Nami, but he kind of just wrecked his face. When you use Chill and Temp Chains, you get a really nice stun duration going, so it looks like he was just um, premised on there. Also, interesting thing here is uh, using Ice Shot, most of uh, Nami's Fizz is converted to Cold, so it's not going to trigger Molten, and uh, the armor is not going to do him very much good, so... We'll see how this goes. Wow, good job. So, <laughs> fire versus ice. I guess ice wins. Fire ferrets. I don't know who this guy is. Round one. Fight. I think he's using hatred. <clears throat> Nami. Just for a uh, crap to more gold. Ooh. Two handed build. Oh, he's got to get out of there. Red LD. This could be a, a melee one. ranger or a maybe a puncture. I don't know. I know there's a lot. Sounds like it's gonna be melee. This might be trouble for him. Oh, the traps. He's got to get out of there. Otherwise, he's just gonna get perma stunned. Oh. Oh no, he just kind of point blank the crap out of him. He's doing really good. I don't know what uh what his rating is right now. I don't know how to check, but he seems to be one. killing most of his opponents. He's probably near the top. I gotta switch. There we go. Like I said, another ranged versus ranged. I think Nami's favored here. Yep, exactly. That stun chain is just too strong. Hedgy, we got Hedgy again. This is going to be a rematch. Nami's got to claim back his honor. Ooh. Hyped for this match. Hedgy's got some pretty GG gear, so... Should be interesting. Placing down his, I think they're ice shot traps. Oh, man. I don't think Hedgy's that tanky. Oh, man. He's taking all those traps to the face. Oh, man. See how he's using those, um, oh, nice. Hedgy's using those, um, curse immunity flasks. And once those run out, man, he's, he's going to be done for. Shall goes meta. Don't know who this guy is either. It's really nice to see a lot of new faces for PvP. Um, it's coming a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Here we go. Uh, just typical sword and board. Ooh. I don't think it's going well for Nami right now. Yeah, he just needs to get out of there. Play some traps. Oh, get him perma stunned. Once he runs out of those curse immunity flasks, he should have a much easier time killing him. Oh, nope. I think he has. Um, oh, he might be RT. I don't think Duelist would go RT, but we'll see. Um, a lot of the Marauders you see, you'll, uh, like Haunt's World, I believe he goes RT. 
RT is resolute technique, which means uh, your hits can't be evaded. So Nami, who has a crap ton of evasion, usually these matchups are quite hard for him. I think this is face breaker. Oh, this is gonna be really hard. Although it might be, well, it might be easier to kind of face breaker build because they don't have a flicker strike. Or whirling blades, so. Oh man, you can see he's. Oh, he's. Oh, yeah, man, that's really hard to stop. <clears throat> the thing is, while he's cycloning, you can't just uh, chain stun him, which is a really big problem for Nami is cyclone builds. Round one. So here's another match versus Hedgy. We'll see how this goes. Now blink arrow is like one of my favorite skills. Oh, he's got him. See how right there? He's got a uh, two arrows and he keeps missing. That's the problem with using just two arrows. If you aim right at them, it's gonna miss them because the arrows just go right by him. Now, if you're running one or three arrows, you can hit him pretty easily. Using two arrows versus one arrow it has its benefits, but I typically like using one. I think Hedgy's using one arrow too. But uh, it's easier to off-screen them if you have two arrows. Oh, I don't know if he has any bleeded pots left. Oh, I mean it's insane how powerful these uh, puncture traps are. Even though he's using on multi-trap, which reduces the damage by forty percent. Oh man. What he really needs is uh, a lot of trap clear. I haven't seen him use like uh, rain of arrows very much. This is really I don't think either of them have potions right now. Yeah. Oh, yep. That was too bad. I'm surprised he got hit by traps that many times. He has like an insane amount of evasion. Round 1. I've played him with my explosive arrow build and like only one out of 8 of my arrows ever hit him. So I don't know if Hedge Money must have an insane amount of uh Oh One handed axe. You don't see one handed axe very often. Well, that was insane. Probably because he was RT. You could see he was hitting him constantly there. I wonder if that's a face breaker build. I don't know. Make a face baller LLD. I don't know if he wants to get too close to him. Yeah. This is one of his weaker matchups. Well, uh, he just needs to get him before he can start cycloning towards him. Kind of playing a dangerous game standard right next to him. There we go. One thing about Nami's build is he's in a really cool quiver called, um, I think it's Asphyxia's Wrath. It gives you uh, more chill duration. And um, what I really love about this build is that um, for Asphyxia's Wrath, it gives you a minus curse radius, which is doesn't really matter since um, Nami has temp chains on hit gloves. Holy crap, that was very quick. You're not seeing very many casters in this. Um, we'll see, Mr. Luck, Shadow. I'm guessing it's gonna be some sort of melee, Round maybe one. Shadow Puncture. There's a wide variety of builds. Um, yep, it's Puncture. And I think Nami probably has this. If he's on top of having his bleed potions, he should be all right. Looks like both of them are running quite a bit of evasion. Well, no, just needs to keep staying. Ch chain stunning him. He's got it. Just needs to lay on the pressure. And almost a perma stun. Yep. Stun and freeze. So strong. I believe Asphyxious Wrath gives up to 10% chance to freeze, which is pretty good. And people without freeze immunity, that's pretty much just going to be GG. And here's uh, RT again, which I don't see is going to go very well 
in Nami's favor. Oh, he just needs to get out of there. If I were him, I'd use more smoke mine um, to kite his opponent a little bit better. I mean, he's not, he's doing better than the last round. He could take this. Oh! He's just gonna get it one more hit. Nice! Even though his opponent could have been RT there, I think he's... I don't know, I'm, I'm impressed that he still took that game. I was not expecting that. Dub. It's the fire and ice matchup again. Burning arrow versus ice arrow. Yeah, he's he's hardly hitting him. You can see both of them are using two arrows. Yeah, that was... Uh, I mean, it's a really nice combo. You uh, chill and temp chains them, and then because their movement speed is just so low, you can just easily one, chuck one. your traps right on top of their face. And I believe he has his traps in a five link. So he's probably got two five links, one for his chest and one for his bow. This should be another easy round. Now, Asphyxi Asphyxia's Wrath uh, Quiver, it also converts a lot of your Fizz to Cold. I think, um, I can't remember how much, but pairing with Rim Sorrows, I think it's, I believe it's a total of 85% of your Cold converted, to, or your Fizz converted to Cold. And then on top of Hatred, you have like 115% or something like that, maybe a little bit less, but you have a lot of Cold damage coming your way, and that's going to chill them a lot. Especially paired with, paired with uh, Asphyxia's Wrath Chill Duration. So you can see just how slow they're going, especially when they have Temp Chains on them. It's just so nasty. Oh! Did not expect that to happen. Those Puncture Traps are just nasty. I don't think, uh, <laughs> I think Nami's being a little too cocky there. Considering how much evasion he has. Fight. And when I say he has Ondar's, I'm talking about uh, Ondar's Guile, not the Ondar's Gloves. That's pretty insane. But anyways, Ondar's Guile, it uh, doubles your chance to evade for projectiles. So your Round matchups are very strong against uh, most bow builds. Maybe not against some uh, explosive arrow builds who so use RT, but against most puncture builds, um, Burning Arrow builds, Tornado Shot builds. Oh. Can't out kite the kiter. Now, some of these builds um, do cost quite a bit of exalts, but I think in comparison, Nami's is a bit on the cheaper side. I mean, it does require two five links, but. Um, it doesn't require a lot of the corrupted gear. Usually that. Oh, there's a caster. Wow, that was kind of insane. He's using tabula, so he probably wasn't very tanky. But man, I think those are point blank ice spear traps. Never seen that before. I don't know if he was going crit or what. But that's uh, good to see something new. Now a lot of these bow people use um, uh, Blink Arrow, which teleports your location and then spawns a clone at your old location. Most people just use that and not the other one, the Mirror Arrow, which does the opposite. And it is a really good skill for kiting. But the one problem is is that the clone that it leaves behind, it, um, it basically gives free flash charges to your opponent. Uh, so it's a little bit of a downside, but it does prevent quite a bit of damage. Now this is against the Facebreaker build again. Oh, I guess that's the the end of it. And uh, I'll see you next time for the uh, next build.